Launch is one of the big names in the diagnostic world and recently Launch is launching more and more products under the X431 brand. In this video we are looking at the X431 Pro Ace and trying to see what it is. At this point in time it is the most accessible 10 inch diagnostic tool from launch and we are trying to see if this is something that you actually want in your toolbox. Hello everyone, I'm Bogdan. I usually help people upgrade their vehicles. And to do just that, I need to evaluate the health of different cars before and after the upgrades. This is why I'm testing these types of tools and this is why I believe that these tools are very important for professionals and even for DIY enthusiasts. Let's come back to these diagnostic tools. Everybody likes the specs. The X431 Pro Ace is running a 4-core 2GHz CPU, 4GB of RAM, 64GB of ROM, a big 6300 milliamp battery at 7.6 volts, which equates to 48 watt hour of capacity, USB-C, USB-A, 8 megapixel camera, Bluetooth connectivity to the vehicle, it connects by Bluetooth to the DBS car version 7, which some people will like, some people will eventually not like. This type of VCI vehicle communication interface is able to do CAN-FD, but it's a little bit dodgy when it comes to DOIP. These units or this unit is advertised as having DOIP, but the small print says that it has DOIP if you buy an additional DOIP cable that is not supplied with the unit. It is able to do FCA SGW for 2016 vehicles onwards. It has an interesting setup with two speakers on the back. Strange for, for a unit like this. Has all sorts of microphones and the build quality is quite good. Also, when you buy this unit, it comes with a massive pack of adapters. Those ones I've noticed that are quite useful for older vehicles. Pricing and where to buy them. You are expecting to see these ones on Amazon, eBay and AliExpress. Pricing is in the range of 700 to 900. And you know the deal. If you want fast delivery and good return policies, Amazon is the place to shop. If you want the best price, AliExpress is your option and eBay is somewhere in between. Besides buying this type of unit, you need to consider updates. These units from launch are shipped with two years of free updates, but after that you will have to pay somewhere in the range of 180 pound per year. Different sellers might offer you different discounts. What I've noticed as the best place to shop for these types of updates is AliExpress. AliExpress is decent from a price perspective or also you can consider contacting the seller of your unit and see what offer they will give to you. These units in theory should be able to function even without the updates but I've noticed that the more complex online coding, online programming require that subscription so keep that in mind. A thing that you should avoid doing is buying the updates by using the mole function from inside of the tablet because this is where the software pack and the software update is the most expensive out of them all. What is the X431 ACE able to do? It is capable of doing diagnostics with the topology mapping, more on that later, data logging, actuator testing, servicing functions, quite a lot of them. We have discussed the servicing functions, now let's take a look at vehicle coverage. As a rule of thumb, these units are capable of diagnosing everything from 1996 up to 2023, especially this one because it has a big pack of adapters will allow you the freedom to diagnose older vehicles. Keep in mind that in some cases these units will be advertised as being able to do heavy duty trucks. The reality is that they are not capable of doing it in standard form. This connector to the vehicle is not capable of going to 24 volts. So to actually do heavy duty trucks, you need to buy a new communication device for the vehicle, which is expensive if you buy it separately and you will need to buy a different software pack for your tablet, which makes it not really competitive to, to be used in that format. Okay, we move on to the actual testing. 
In my testing, I first wanted to see the capabilities of the battery. I've charged it to 100%, after that discharged it with the screen at maximum brightness and the sound level at 25%. I placed some YouTube videos to run in the background and I was able to measure 11 hours and 45 minutes of use in that scenario. I've also measured the time needed to charge this unit with a 2 amp charger. It took 4 hours and 58 minutes to charge the unit. The other testing was on the vehicles themselves. I have went ahead and diagnosed, tested the unit on the BMW F10 and on, and on a Honda Accord. On the BMW F10, I've run the basic diagnostics and had to work for the first time with the topology menu, which in the beginning annoyed me. If you get a unit like this one, you will have different buttons to press, system scan, smart scan, whatever else scan. And with some of them, it scans something, but it doesn't return the DTCs for each and every ECU. On the BMW, I found that smart scan is the one that actually retrieves the DTCs. But if you want to work on a Ford, for example, that is a different button altogether to press. Diagnostic scanning went according to plan once I understood how to use the topology menu. Data logging, I've tested it, played around with different data streams. And the big screen made it quite useful to be able to see them in a big format like this. I didn't feel the need to export a CSV file and do all sorts of magic to, to interpret the data. So the screen itself worked really good. Played around with actuator testing and all sorts of other stuff. The software is very similar to the Pro Elite. So I have the confidence that this tool is able to do everything that this one is doing. I've played around with ECU coding, played around with the instrument cluster on the BMW F10 and the software is able to communicate and personalize that type of ECU. We move on to the Honda Accord. The Honda Accord, because it's an old vehicle, this unit kind of panicked a little bit with that topology mapping, but after showing me a big map of possible ECUs, it scanned the ones that were on the vehicle and the result is the same as other diagnostic tools that I have been using. After using these diagnostic tools, I found some things that I liked and I found some things that I didn't like. On the good part, on the things that I've liked about it, it's nice because it just works. It's no drama. It's a tool that does exactly what you would expect from it. Just the diagnostics and that is where it stops. The software is stable. It does all the functions consistently and reliably, not like the X tools. And the big screen, the big screen makes it really usable and really relaxing to use. The Bluetooth connection is quite nice because you're able to run different actuator tests and be outside and hear if that actuator actually works. Battery life, again, crazy battery life like the Top Tone Phoenix Plus that I've reviewed in a previous video. You don't see the battery drain. You're able to use it day after day without actually charging it. Build quality is again something that will impress you. Although it looks plasticky, it is actually a really nice rubbery feel. The software allows you to install other things on the tablet. You might be able to use it for, I don't know, receiving payments and other stuff. But if a uh, your scenario that I'm considering is to install the software from Xtool and have the A30M run on this tablet and connect to, to that Wi-Fi Bluetooth dongle that Xtool has. Having two platforms in the same unit with the freedom of using the um, mileage correction from Xtool. Those were some of the things that I've liked. Let's discuss some of the things that are not that nice about this diagnostic tool. First thing that you will need to go past is the initial setup. The initial setup is painful. You will see when you have to do it why. Also, I've noticed that although you're paying a premium for this tool, you're not receiving a screen protector and that is something that lets down this unit. Some of you will like the topology mapping. I'm starting to consider it quite annoying. Call me old school. For me, it's too much hassle. I enjoy something that is just straightforward and scans and gives me the reports more similar to the X431 Pro Elite. 
Maybe I'm getting old and I'm not that receptive to the new stuff coming along. This unit might be advertised a little bit dodgy, saying that it is heavy duty vehicle compatible or ready or capable, which it isn't. You need to buy additional hardware and additional software. So if you're getting this unit, buy it just to use it on passenger vehicles. Don't think about trucks and other stuff like that. Also, another dodgy marketing bit is they advertise it as being DOIP and they have the small print. It is capable of doing DOIP, although you need to buy an additional cable. So in my mind, it's either able of doing it or not able to do it. In my testing on the BMW F10, all the functions worked like the other diagnostic tools. So Although some people are saying that the F10 is on a DOIP platform, I didn't see any difference. I do not know if they are addressing or they are saying DOIP as diagnosis over the internet for some coding over the internet. You will test it and maybe you will let me know what is the difference and why that cable is needed. From a cost perspective, that cable is not that expensive, it's less than 20 pounds. We discussed the good, we discussed the bad. Let's think about the conclusions that we can have about this unit. In my opinion, the x 431 ace is sitting at the borderline between DIY and professional garage use. The big 10 inch screen makes it a phenomenal tool to have. The vehicle coverage and the capability of doing ECU coding makes it a good tool to have in your garage. And the pricing is very, very competitive. You have all that is needed to work on passenger cars. Where the X431 Ace fails is if you want to work on heavy duty vehicles. That is where if you add the SmartLink HD and the software updates, this unit is not competitive with the other units out there. So let me know what you think about this unit. A competitor of this unit might be this tool over here. Or if you want to go lower cost, this tool over there might also do the job like this one. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.